Welcome to Durango, Colorado, a hidden gem nestled in the heart of the Rockies. Join us on an unforgettable adventure as we explore the best things to do in this incredible destination. From the soothing hot springs of Pagosa Springs to the ancient cliff dwellings of Mesa Verde National Park, we'll take you on a journey through history and natural wonders. Hop aboard the historic Durango train ride and relive the nostalgia of a bygone era as you wind through canyons and mountains. Durango offers an array of experiences, so get ready to create memories that will last a lifetime as we uncover the best of Durango, Colorado. Today, we do something that I've been wanting to do the whole trip. It's been something that I've been talking about. This and when we did the uh, Jeep tour, which we did in Uray, which I'll link to right here if you didn't see that video. But I wanted to ride the train in Durango. It's rated the best scenic train in North America, and I cannot wait. So here we go today. Come along with us. Let's see. It's a steam train, which means at some point we're gonna have to stop to fill up the water. Interesting. I think we're like the last three seats over here, right? Jet, all aboard. If you're wondering, the train is, we're going to Cascade Canyon. So it's uh, about an hour and a half there. Then you can get out for like 45 minutes or so, walk around the canyon and get back on and come back. The one that, this is, we're in Durango. The one that goes to Silverton is like an all day affair. It's like eight hours. I think that's a little too much for me. I think we're gonna get the best of the train ride today. Jim, what is that? The bird crack. Oh no! Jill wants to know where the views are. I guess a lot of trees. It's a lot of trees blocking the nice views. Maybe we just haven't hit it yet. The Durango train ride offers a nostalgic journey through Colorado's stunning landscapes. With a vintage steam locomotive, the ride takes you through the picturesque landscape of southwestern Colorado. The historic railway winds its way through the majestic San Juan Mountains, and alongside the scenic Animus River. The train navigates tight curves and steep grades, providing panoramic views that are simply awe-inspiring. The ever-changing scenery offers a glimpse of nature's beauty at its finest. Make the Durango train ride an unforgettable experience for you and your family. Right there is what uh, gives us our water. lowers that thing and the water just flows right in. Right, right there, honey, look to your left. Mesa Verde National Park is a captivating destination that offers a fascinating glimpse into the ancient civilization of the ancestral Pueblo people. The park is renowned for its well-preserved cliff dwellings, which date back over 700 years. As you explore the park, you'll be mesmerized by the intricate stone architecture nestled into the cliffs, providing a unique window into the lives of these early inhabitants. Okay, we're gonna do the Cliff Palace tour. We're not 100% sure if Jet's going to be able to do it, but we are going to give it a shot. It's about three quarters of a mile, but there's some ladders and 
tricky stairs that you have to navigate. So we're going to give it a shot, right, Chet? We're going to try? Yeah. Springs. We're here. <laughs> yeah, Monty. We've just parked the RVs right across the street, right here, and uh, there's the springs. It's nice and cool, so the dogs will be fine. And now we're gonna go check out the springs. Here we go. <laughs> Pagosa Springs in Colorado is a charming town nestled in the San Juan Mountains. It's about an hour east of Durango, but totally worth the visit. Renowned for its geothermal hot springs, it offers a unique and rejuvenating experience for visitors. We were able to visit the Springs Resort and Spa for the day, where we were pampered by hot spring pools of varying temperatures. Jet absolutely loved this spot. Pagosa Hot Springs. It's like in, the, in between Durango and Alamosa, okay? Here's what I have to say. One, we should have made this a stop on our trip. They, we should have been here for a couple days. The town is really cute, which we're probably not gonna get to explore. But here we are at the resort, which you can buy a day pass for. It's $59 per adult, $30 for kids. And you have access to all of these great hot springs pools. We're just hanging out in this little like wading pool right here. And it's very natural. A lot of it is very natural. Um, some of them are just like hot tubs or like spas, but it's very, 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 very natural. You watch people go tubing down the river right here. Yeah. Whoa! We're actually going to see uh, Jay and Ryder go tube down the river. Um, it's awesome. It's an awesome spot. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm disappointed that I didn't know about it before and made it a stop on a trip. And Drinking a margarita. What are you doing in a hot bath? Give me a smile. Now that you know what to do when you're in Durango, check out this video here on the best things to do in Colorado Springs. And let's journey beyond boundaries.